Today we have a 2008 Dodge Sprinter with a 3.0 liter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the differential pinion seal. The seal over here is leaking. As you can see, it's wet around this area. We removed the drive shaft off camera. I'm going to show you how to replace the seal back here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this nut and then we're going to use a puller to pull this yoke. All right, so we're going to push this indented section out. I'm going to undo this nut. So now we're going to use this puller to pull this out. So the way this puller works is it's going to go in here and then we're going to so in like this. Then we're going to twist it to lock it. Okay. And as we tighten the center bolt, it's going to pry this yoke out. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to install these bolts over here. So now you have to tighten them evenly. Go. Do that one. All right, so that's good enough. I can see this bolt sticking back here. So now we're gonna tighten this bolt. And as we tighten this bolt, it's going to pull our yoke out. All right, so now we're gonna start tightening this. Oh, it came out pretty easily. It's already out. That was easy. So we're gonna remove our puller. We're gonna get it out of the way. So now this should be able to come out. Actually, before I remove it completely, I'm going to mark it, okay? Let's mark it so we can put it back the same exact way it's gonna come out. Because I'm looking at the splines over here, all these splines look the same. So I'm gonna mark it. I don't know if this is gonna make a difference, but better safe than sorry. Okay. So as you can see, this seal over here is leaking. So we're going to clean around the seal first before we remove it. Now we have to be careful not to drop any debris in the differential. We don't want all this dirt to go in the differential, okay? All right, so here is our seal. We're gonna carefully remove that. So I'm going to carefully 
bandit. So here comes our pinion seal. Okay, so this is the bad one. We're gonna get it out of the way. I'm gonna put a little bit of differential fluid over here. Okay, so that this journal can slide smoothly into the new seal. Okay, so now we're gonna install our new seal. Here is the new seal. We got this from Mercedes and here is the part number. I hope you can see that. So here's our brand new seal. So we're going to install it just like that. So I'm going to use this big socket to tap our new seal in. So we have to make sure that when we tap the seal, the force we are applying on the seal is spread out across the seal evenly. Perfect. So just like that, our new seal is installed. So we did put our mark over here. So we have to make sure that our mark over here is lined up. It looks like that mark is not lined up. Looks like the mark is not lined up. Okay, so right there. All right, so just like that. Now, it's recommended to replace this nut. I do have a new nut that we're gonna have to install. So here is the old nut, and this is the new one. So I'm gonna get the new one out of the bag. So here is our new nut. We're gonna install our new nut. I'm gonna grab a torque wrench so we can torque this nut. I looked up the torque spec for this nut. The torque spec for this nut is 74 foot pounds. I was calling this sleep yoke, but when I looked up service info, I realized that they call this a pinion flange. So that's what I should have said. This is not a sleep yoke, it's a pinion flange. So we're gonna use this tool over here to hold our pinion flange stationary while we torque this nut. Now I have my torque wrench set up to 74 foot pound. So just like that. All right, so that's torqued down to 74 foot pound, so we're good. So now I'm gonna remove these two bolts over here.
Thank you, Kyle. So now we're gonna bend, we're gonna bend the color over here on the nut. All right, so we bent this, so this is good to go. So this is how you remove and replace a differential pinion seal on a 2008 Dodge Sprinter with a 3.0 lira. Thanks for watching. See you next time.